This is a time we are in a world right now where we need to really be putting God first. Like we need to really be going to him for everything. Don't go to nobody else asking them what you should do. Go to God always because he will always answer. Read your Bible. Everything you need to do is in the Bible, y'all. Like the Bible is the manual to how we should live our life. morning i was reading the bible i was outside on my patio had my little cup of tea i heard the birds chirping like i was just feeling really really good this morning like something about today just has been like really really good as i was reading you know one of my topics stood out to me because i have like a notebook where i have like video topics of like things that i want to record and i just haven't really figured out like what was the next video i remember one of my topics was do what god has called you to do and it was like for me to share my testimony when it comes to nursing school and as i was reading jeremiah chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 it was talking about how if god called you to do something he will provide everything that you need for you to do it and like that just like stood out to me i'm just like whoa like this is deep like i have to make this video just to share with you guys i am a nurse and for so many years i never really thought about becoming a nurse i know i shared in other videos that i had went to school for criminal justice i had my bachelor's degree in that and like i never really thought about nursing but again i was working in healthcare. i was a patient care tech for like 10 years 10 years i was just comfortable and i never really thought about it i had so many people around me saying like you should be a nurse you should be a nurse but i didn't feel like i wanted to be a nurse like i didn't but it came a point where like i was really getting bored with being a patient care tech i'm just like okay i don't want to do this no more so i really started taking my degree series i tried to like apply for things and i just was not getting those jobs like at all like i even try to be a cop i try to be a peace officer like i tried to be a probation officer and like it just was not working for me as time went on i just remember praying to god asking god like listen i don't feel like i want to be a nurse but everybody keeps telling me i should be a nurse like i don't know if that's you talking to me but i need some type of sign i need some type of confirmation i need you to show me that this is what you want me to do because so many people were telling me but i don't feel like i'm capable of doing that i want to say i didn't feel like i couldn't do it i think deep down inside i was scared i was scared of failing i was scared of just the thoughts of going back to school in my 30s you know me being married me having children just was like huh I don't have time for it you know i had so many reasons of why i should not be a nurse you know what lord i cannot afford to go back to school i already have my associate's degree i already have my bachelor's degree i already had student loan debt and i'm just like i just cannot afford to go back to school so like i just kind of feel like i don't know what's gonna happen but i can't afford i feel like god just like he heard all my excuses like he heard the excuses and he's like you know what this girl got so many excuses and i just remember my boss come into me and she just was like, hey, um, they have a new LPN program. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she was just was like, you know, maybe you should apply. And I'm just like, oh my God, is this God talking to me? This was like literally like the next day of like me at my point where I'm just feeling uncomfortable and I'm praying like every single day. And at that point I'm like, dang, do I wanna do LPN or do I wanna do RM? I'm like, Laura, I don't know. Should I do the LPN route or should I do the RN route? Like, I just didn't know. But I feel like he was answering me through my boss. Like, we have this program. You should apply. And it wasn't the RN program. It was the LPN program. So I feel like that was kind of like an answer. Like, okay, well, I did pray on, like, should I do the LPN route or should I do the RN route? And she came to me with this new program and it was for LPN. So I'm like, okay, that's that. And I'm like, you know what, whatever, I'll apply. You know, I didn't really feel a way about it. Cause like I said, I just didn't know if like, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't know if that was like my calling. Like, is this really my career? Like, I honestly didn't know because I never really sat down like, oh, I really want to be a nurse. Like, I just didn't know, but like, I was open. I was open for it because I was very uncomfortable 
in my life like I was bored I'm just like something got to change you know I'm getting older I want to have a career you know so I was like you know what I will apply and whatever happens happens I believe that everything happened for a reason and if this works if I get into the program then hey I go so be it you know so I applied to the program I did my essay tease exam like everything was just going smooth like everything was just smooth I'm like oh okay next step oh got that step okay all right next step and I'm just like wow this is like smooth lead the way Lord lead the way if I get into this program I know it was you talking to me I know it was you talking to me when I tell you y'all once you develop a connection with God like he literally responds Sometimes we may not want to hear the response because we want to hear the response we want to hear. But at that point, I didn't even know what response I was trying to hear. Like, I didn't even know. Like I said, I just didn't know if I wanted to be a nurse, but I was willing to do what God wanted me to do. In the chapter of Jeremiah, it's, it talks about how God already knew like our life, like in our mother's womb, like he already knew. So like, I was just at a point in my life, like, you know what, whatever happens, it happens. And I'm trying to do whatever God wants me to do that's just where I was at the point I'm like I'm just trying to do whatever God wants me to do if you want to be a nurse I'm all for it you know once I got the email saying like congratulations Tatiana you have been accepted into the LPN program I'm like you know what this is all God like this is all God and I didn't even know what to think all I knew is that this was God like he answered my prayers he answered my prayers he heard me he understood everything he heard me and I wanted to just let anyone know who's watching this video you literally have to pray anything God has caused you to do do it it's a feeling that you feel even if you feel like you know I don't even know what God has called me to do because that's how I was feeling I didn't know what he called me to do but sometimes we have to just be still we have to be still and we have to be open a lot of us is not open we just want to do what we want to do you have to just accept the fact that sometimes what we want for ourselves is not what God has planned for us and sometimes when you come to God you have to come to God with the open heart and be like you know what lead me in the direction that you want to lead me not the direction that I want to go and I am a true believer that when you do something it goes smooth it's all God when you know it's time for a change you're gonna feel uncomfortable the things that we think is so hard for us to do but like it keep like weighing on us but like I'm not doing that like that just seemed difficult I don't even know how I'm gonna do that you got to do it. You know, I didn't know how I was going to pay certain bills. Like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to afford it. And you know what, y'all? Guess what? What made it even better was that the program was free. It was a free program. Like, I didn't have to come out of pocket for nothing. I didn't have to pay for nothing. I didn't have to pay for no books. Literally, I didn't have to pay for anything. You cannot tell me that was not God. God knew, like, my excuse was, oh, my God, I don't have the funds to pay for school. I'm not going to have financial aid. Like, he already knew that, but he had it covered. He provided that. Like, he like, listen, you got too many excuses, but you know what? It's free. Now, what's your excuse? And I'm just like, you know what? This is God. Can't nobody tell me different. So that's why when people ask me, why did you do the LPN route and not the RM route? It's more so like, that's not the route that God wanted for me. God wanted me to do the LPN route. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you have to do what God wants you to do. Not what everybody else is telling you to do. Do what God called you to do. And you would know because you're going to feel uncomfortable. You would know is because it may scare you. You would know because you're going to keep hearing it from other people. God uses people to answer our prayers. I'm trying to say like, God is so good. He's so good. But we have to learn to listen. We have to learn to be still. We have to learn to meditate. We have to learn to make time for him. He's so good. And when I say I actually love being a nurse, like I love being a nurse. Like I would never even thought I would be seeing like, oh my God, I love being a nurse. Like so far, I love it. I mean, I know that it have its days where it could be a little stressful, but at the end of the day, I'm so grateful because I'm doing God's work. I'm providing a service to others, to God's people. I'm helping God's people. I'm taking care of God's people. 
So just knowing that alone, it just makes me feel so good. And just knowing that this is what God wanted me to do. I just feel so good. Like God really provided. Like he really be looking out for me. Like he really be going hard for me. And I know if he doing it for me, he do it for all his kids. And if you are watching this video, hopefully it had inspired you in some type of way. It had motivated you to stop procrastinating and, and really just seek out to God, literally get into your Bible. This is a time we are in a world right now where we need to really be putting God first. Like we need to really be going to him for everything. Don't go to nobody else asking them what you should do. Go to God always because he will always answer read your bible everything you need to do is in the bible y'all like the bible is the manual to how we should live our life like if i can get through it you can too no matter the age do what you gotta do and timing is everything don't ever feel like oh my god it's too late like it's not too late y'all it's not too late don't ever feel like that telling you if you like this video make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe leave comments below and i will see you guys next week Bye.